This video is the product of the Functional Cranial Release Research Institute. For difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, visit functionalcranialrelease.com. All right, so we're going to look in the throat here. There it is. So it's pretty clear we've got palatal myoclonus. So this is after treatment. And we got like nothing. Quiet as a mouse. Oh, nice. it's just amazing to me though that all the doctors in Minnesota, and we took them to many clinics and even the University of Minnesota, and nobody had an idea of what to do with him. Mm -hmm. um, no explanations. A lot of doctors have never even seen it before. Yeah. Had no idea. Yeah. And to come down here and in four visits see the results that he has so far, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a common thread among all palomal clonus patients is the, the you know the challenge that they've had with the no answers from the medical community because the medical community is so obsessed with pharmaceuticals and that area of, of you know our allopathic healthcare model is basically paid for by the drug companies I mean they pay for all of the journals they basically invest in the medical schools you know so these people's whole curriculum is when you see this condition these are the medications that you give where neurological conditions most of them you know when you give medications there's a global change to all you know the entire brain where with palatal myoclonus like with a number of other conditions that I treat we have to actually stimulate certain particular aspects of the nervous system and sometimes multiple areas at the same time which you've discovered here we did a number of different kind of tricks if you will which have been different for each patient that I've seen and we combine that with the endonasal balloon adjustment which may, it may be a structural change mm -hmm. that we're creating we talked about that you know there could be some structural things that are happening with dura or meningeal releases um, the cranium becoming more um, optimized for better oxygen uh, delivery to the brain but there's I think a possibility that it might be also, or even more so, the stimulate the stimulation of the balloon inflating, which is kind of giving us a um, a strong stimulation to the central nervous system, where then we start doing these tricks and these activations of the different parts of the brain. It then works much kind, more kind rapidly. Kind of like a spark plug, like getting stuff going again. You right. know, like rewiring. That would be a good yeah. That's yeah. a good explanation. Yeah. That. I mean. <clears throat> I don't see why you wouldn't come down and take the chance because this is, based on my research, one of the only like functional options, mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, I've tried all the different types of chiropractors, all the other alternative <laughs> options, mm -hmm. different types of supplements and stuff, and hasn't done anything as far as that tremor. Yeah. So, nice. uh, FCR, I think, is something special and does something mm -hmm. for sure. Good. And it was partially my fault not getting here like three, four months ago because I made him go to a couple of different chiropractors before we would actually come down here because everything you see on the internet, I told him, hey, I'm a skeptic, you know, yeah. I, I don't want to go down to Florida and get ripped off by some hocus pocus stuff, you know. Yeah. So I made him go to chiropractors, I made him go to the University of Minnesota doctor, um, neurologist, Total waste of time. I mean, it was a procedure most people try and take because they don't know. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Dr. John. Thanks for joining me. If you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. You can contact me by phone or email me at askdrjl at gmail.com. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. Functional Cranial Release dot com.